Good afternoon to all of you. In our gospel for today, we heard that our Lord Jesus came to his native place, to Nazareth, to his family and community. And on the Sabbath, he went to the synagogue. He began teaching. And upon hearing him, people were all astonished. Then there came the problem. They began to take offense at him. The people of Nazareth have found Jesus too much, too big, too imposing to create a difference in their lives. Where did this man get all this? Was a big question that reflected utter disgust, envy, and unbelief. At the outset, there should never be anything good coming from Nazareth. They failed to discover Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, a homecoming that creates brokenness, enmity, doubt, or separation is a contradiction. For Jesus, his return to Nazareth was not a homecoming. Finding no home in the unbelief of people, Jesus did not perform any mighty deeds there. Homecomings are part of our lives. We often come home to various native places. Every day, in fact, is a coming home. At times, we also experience Nazareth places where we are met with rejection, indifference, and ridicule. Due to biased standards of people in terms of achievements, backgrounds, property, and influence. My dear brothers and sisters, a homecoming is simply going back to a place to recreate one's wholeness, to discover bonding, to heal separation, to rest, to be happy, to discover giftedness, to appreciate a father, a mother, a brother, a sister, a loved one. Are these not what Nazareth missed as miracles by not accepting our Lord Jesus? Let us get inspiration from our Lord that when time comes, that we also somehow go back to our native places. We could stand by the indifference and rejection of the people around us and should not stop us from experiencing wholeness to be able to be connected again and continue to share the goodness that God instilled in us despite of all these negative 
perhaps, attitudes that we could receive from people around us.